Hello guys, welcome back. So, part two. Um, this time uh, we're going to work on the uh, the base, the skids. So, the first thing I suppose I need to do is uh, rip down an old piece of wood, uh, an old piece of uh, probably 6x2 left over from a building job, um, and uh, plane that down to 15mm square. Now, I'll uh, just show you here how I came up by the number of 15mm. So, looking back at the original reference picture here, I'm trying to find something by which I can identify the uh, the width uh, of the skids here and the uh, the cross timber. Um, and I uh, observed that uh, the, the diameter of the base of the chimney is just a little bit more than the width of those skids. Now, the diameter of the base of the chimney uh, on this Mamod donor boiler uh, is 18 mil. So I went with 15 mil as just a little under that diameter. Okay, there you go. So uh, that kind of explains the, uh, the dimensioning. I'm trying to keep this roughly in proportion to the one in the photo. Uh, so let's uh, let's get that ripped down now. Okay, mission accomplished. So that's pretty much eyeball this. Got a pencil behind me here, let me just grab that out. So, I'm not going to put the scuttle on, made an executive decision on that one. I quite like the uh, flat end on that, and I'll build it instead a special burner to hold the chaffing fuel. I want the skids to run to from just behind to just in front, so I'm eyeballing this. Let's just take it off before this knot. Cut two at that length, whatever that is. Uh, I'll be cutting them on a chop saw, but just for convenience, let's use a uh, set square, just keep things tidy. What is that just out of interest? Oh, about eight and a half inches, that'll do nicely. Okay, so that'll be the, uh, the skids under the side. Let's just get those cut. Okay, so two skids for the sides. Uh, there will be some cross pieces that run across those. I can use uh, the offcuts to mock those up. Okay, so pieces of brass I'm going to use in this. This will probably end up getting cut in half. To support the back end. With little holes drilled through and just uh, bronze round headed nails on there. Uh, the base itself, let's see, I want two pieces of this, one on top of another. Holder, so that piece we can mark and bend to fit. Right, let's crack on. First job, pop this in half, four holes. Okay, here we go. So there's going to be two pieces across there like that. I'll cross cut those to size in a moment, put some uh, angles on the edge and so on as well, just tidy those up. So I need to know the gap from here, top of this, to about here. Because the uh, place itself sticks out at a little bit of an angle sideways. It's not perfectly straight and it's not perfectly on the bottom of the boiler. It's going to be attached to the side with a little touch of solder at about this height. So it can be a little bit approximate. What we're looking at, I would say, is an inch. And that'll be quite comfortable. Maybe a little bit more, but uh, an inch off that leaves us with a clean inch in the middle, which is way too much. So if we took it to inch and a half, maybe. 
might be a bit too much. I've got plenty of brass, I can always trim it back down. Let's meet in the middle, let's say inch and a quarter on each side, which leaves a clean half inch in the middle. That'll do. Nice, it's been unmarked up. Now conveniently enough, this piece of brass is already blued. So, uh, what did we say, inch and a quarter, wasn't it? Inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter. With that half inch in the middle. Now, there are a few things to do here. Um, the actual piece itself isn't just a, a U. Um, referring back to the picture, it is bent up and then flares out. So let's say our half inch is close enough. The half inch is close enough to the 15 mil. Let's use one of these offcuts as a former. Um, basically beat it around that and then flare up what's left. Got plenty of bits of brass, so that will do quite nicely as a start for 10. Let us see how that looks to the vice. Alrighty, so here we are again. Life would be so much easier if I actually had a big enough workshop for everything to be in one place and you could just go production line styly bench to bench to bench. That is the dream. If anyone in or around the Belfast area has such a facility, then you wouldn't mind me using it evenings or weekends or whatever. I would be delighted to hear from you. Till then, I guess we'll just keep on making do. Right, I'm just going to use a dead blow for this. Take that out of there. Gonna need to tidy these up afterwards, but uh, we can get by for now. The important thing here is a nice clean corner. Okay, so set in so that it's uh, half an inch up from the, the bend. Just going to use an adjustable uh, spanner here just to pull these sides over. Just flare them out enough that that will sit around the boiler and I can adjust these afterwards. But the bend is going to be in the right place and approximately the right angle. Okay, there we go. Not perfect, but a uh, damn sight better than imperfect. I am happy enough with that. I'm going to go and drill a hole in the bottom of it now. And uh, we're good to mock up. Nice. Okay, let's knock this together and see what it looks like. I think we're getting somewhere, getting somewhere close. This is all going to need tidying up, of course. Adjustment required here and there. Let's move this back a bit. I preferred it where it was. It's all been completely eyeballed, so a little bit all over the place, but uh, yeah, that is pretty damn close to exactly what I had in mind. Oh, so there it is, guys. 
That is pretty much exactly what I had in mind. The whole thing is going to be black, of course, front to finish, except for the uh, the red on the wheel and the red inside the chimney. Um, I will probably end up filling the hole on the front there uh, and fairing it down before spraying everything in black, um, just to sort of lose that uh, lose that hole where the steering gear used to be. I really like that. I'll probably end up moving the whole thing forward just a touch on the skids, but that is pretty much exactly what I had in mind for that one. So, only a few jobs left to do, I'll speed these up, drill a couple of holes through the ends, a couple of holes on the face of those pieces, pop rivet it up through the bottom, um, drill a hole down through that little uh, mount there, um, glue these rails together and then pin them through the top. I think we are getting close. So I'll crack on and do that, I will uh, record it all and speed it up for you, but uh, I'll see you back here in a few moments when all of this uh, is ready to fire up again. So there we go guys, first fix at least. It's all uh, assembled now, screwed together. Um, I went with uh, brass dome headed screws in the end to hold the uh, the straps on uh, that the firebox is attached onto. That's uh, true to the original, certainly if you notice uh, on that original picture, if you wind back to it, um, there's little straps that come down from the corners of the uh, firebox housing. Um, now, this is a little bit further back on this one than on the uh, uh, case original um, because of the position of the steamroller wheel on the donor vehicle here but I do as it happens have enough parts left in my box um, to make another of these which will be an awful lot truer to the uh, uh, the case original so I'm making a pair of them certainly starting with the steamroller I'm very happy with how that's turned out um, <laughs> if you have any uh, any other requests I am quite well equipped for uh, boilers and fireboxes in dilapidated conditions so um, you know leave something in the comments down below I'll uh, have a look at that for you but as I say there is almost certainly another one of these coming in a slightly uh, lower and bigger boiler form um, moving forwards so there you go anyway that is uh, where it's at today wood stain is going to be going on the bottom there I made it out of pine in the end um, I do have some oak um, but uh, it's it, um, it was just a little bit more convenient to, uh, today anyway, just to mock this up uh, with pine. So I'll be staining this um, and giving it a waterproof stain and a, a dark finish uh, to give it an aged look. Um, I may remake these skids, as I say, in oak moving forwards. Um, but yeah, overall, very happy with how that concept has played out. Um, and the next time you see this, it'll be all stained up um, and I'll do a, uh, a fire up just to uh, see how it looks in steam. So there you go. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, if this is your kind of thing, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Plenty more of these kind of builds coming up in the near future. And uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.